So NLAB is a new centre for business analytics and we're very interested in transformative methods, so bringing across some cutting edge developments from artificial intelligence, behavioural science, geospatial science into business research. And the aim of that really is to unleash some of the value in the data sets that are held by business, which can generate competitive advantage for them, but also can produce a lot of social good. In the lab, we have researchers with a psychological background, with behavioural science background, with geospatial, computer science, economics, or a full range of research. And you find more and more business schools are drawing in other disciplines because the application areas are so rich in the business domain, the data is so rich. One of the things that we can do when we've got these extra data sources is look and build models to see if we can predict this, um, these problems. And if we can, then we can say, well, can we use other data sources to reduce the number of questions? And so the methodologies that we can use there, um, obviously, are very much focused in traditional research. And so this is a surveying field, um, so business and psychology and, and um, obviously have a health domain. But equally, if we can bring in some of these um, big data components and by repurposing um, information from, say, telecommunications, then we can kind of cut down on those questions that need to be asked. So I, I think I'm most excited about the way this field that we're engaged with is changing. So analytics in business schools is now expanding, so our imprint is growing and we're, we as a lab are growing and you see more and more young researchers interested in getting this field. So we train MSCs, they learn all the data science techniques, but they're not learning it for the sake of the computer science, they're learning it to apply it in the real world. So data is stored about you as an individual. Um, in the companies you interact with. So every time you use a loyalty card or you make a phone call, it's, it's logged on the system. And there is an identifier which is related to you. So there is in databases a stream of data, your digital footprint, but you have no access to it. And when we do research, we don't have access to it either. And say we have, we have a project on ovarian cancer. So there are pre-indicators of risk for ovarian cancer in self-medication purchases. And it's crucial because catching and diagnosing things like ovarian cancer early completely affects the, the final outcome. But that's a data stream you don't have access to. And it's not one that can be analysed or you can't, you can't access at the moment to generate those sort of um, information which would give you those risk indicators. Uh, and releasing that data, maybe you want to use it for those sort of purposes, maybe there's some genetic reason. Those sort of routes to research could generate whole new sets of findings. Thank you.